Today, we're going to be talking about a comparison between two people, a respectable woman, Mrs. Baroda, and my sister, Jessica. First, let's talk about how they're alike. So both of the women have similar lives, although their lifestyles are very different. Things that have happened in their lives. Their lives are full of social engagements with their friends and family to the point where they're exhausted. They both have resisted the urge to commit adultery, as well as they put themselves in situations and agree to situations that might provide them with very uncomfortable feelings, but they want to do it for the ones that they love or they want to please the most. Dependent personality disorder. The inability to say no and take excessive efforts to please others that support them. This is per betterhelp.com. Histrionic personality disorder. Exaggerated displays of emotion. Emotion, self-centeredness, feeling uncomfortable when they're not the center of attention and constantly seeking reassurance or approval. Why am I telling you this? Both women, Mrs. Baroda and my sister show these traits. With dependent personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder, both women have the inability to say no and take excessive efforts to please their husbands. Both say yes to please their husbands when they have guests, although it brings them discomfort. So with Mrs. Baroda, it is inviting Governale, who she does not know, already has a negative image of him in her head, and she's exhausted from her social interactions, says yes to please her husband. My sister, on the other hand, she does the same thing. She invites her husband's friends into her home, and although they make sexual advances towards her and makes her uncomfortable, she says yes because she wants to please her husband and does not want to lose that support. Um, both women are unable to please their guests, so they are drawn to them. The more they attempt to understand and gain the approval or liking of their guests, the more they show egregious efforts to gain their approval. So the more that they do not understand the guests and why they are not showing them attention when they do not, or that they are strange, they are drawn to them in this way that they just, they have a yearning to be close to them and understand them and get their approval and they want them to be happy. They also show excessive emotional reactions when the ability to gain the attention is not there. Uh, they almost show an excessive amount of emotion to the point of where it hinders that line of support with their spouses. Um, Mrs. Baroda talks to her husband, is crying and screaming and saying, you know, I, I want to leave. I don't want to be here. Um, and he's saying, you're, you're being too emotional. It never surprises me what your emotional stature is going to be, which is the same with my sister. She has emotional ups and downs when she is not getting her way. And both of these, all of these are traits of dependent personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder in the mix that they can be opposites, but they also have to rely on each other. Both are attention seeking. Both have reactions when they do not get that attention. Um, and can cause excessive emotional outburst, depression, uh, detachment, um, and in other cases, the attraction, once they get it, show the ability to connect with that other person on another level that it may turn to a sexual nature. As for whenever Miss Baroda had spoken with Mr. Governale and finally saw that he was trying to connect with her, she got a desire to be physical with him. And although she did not, that desire was still there. And the same is with my sister as well. So all in all, Mrs. Baroda and my sister do have things in common with histrionic personality disorder and dependent, dependent personality disorder. Both of them show the traits of the attention seeking, uh, some self-centeredness, emotional exaggeration, um, and also have fought against those urges of desire and committing adultery. Um, and though they're working on them um, and show to improve themselves in the end, um, both women are very much alike.